Well, it's no. not the LDL only. I mean, there's a lot more to it. It has to actually be retained. It has to aggregate. It has to get damaged and oxidized and taken up by macrophages. I mean, it's a whole long process. It's not like we just throw an LDL somewhere and suddenly magic happens. All of these people say LDL causes atherosclerosis. They don't say LDL plus something else causes atherosclerosis. If you take away that one step, regard, let's say it, let's say it's LDL plus the glycol, you know, the proteoglycans plus cytokines plus whatever inside the arterial wall. But if you take away the LDL, the rest can't do what, it, what it's supposed to do. The, you end the process. That doesn't mean that LDL causes it. That's a, that's a logical fallacy. You can't have I mean, fire without wood, but wood doesn't cause a fire. You need a spark. LDL doesn't look like it's enough to incite atherosclerosis. I'm not denying that LDL I mean, is correlated with atherosclerosis, especially I mean, in the majority of the population that are insulin resistant. But to say that LDL causes atherosclerosis is, in my opinion, false. You cannot corroborate that assertion.